the first question the control teeth used during pulp testing are option a adjacent and opposing teeth option b adjacent and contralateral teeth option c suspected tooth only option d adjacent teeth only the control teeth used during pulp test are what is control teeth it is a comparing the teeth with suspected teeth so the here the answer is adjacent and contralateral teeth the second question is testing with cold is carried out best option a to localize pulpal pain option b to localize periodontal pain option c for detecting referred pain option d to test pulp necrosis so testing with cold is carried out to localize pulpal pain so option a is correct to localize pulpal pain cold is carried out so cold it is mainly for differentiating between reversible and irreversible pulpitis question number 3 is the temperature for testing the vitality by heat test should not exceed option a 65.5 degree celsius option b 65.5 fahrenheit option c 32.5 fahrenheit option d 32.5 degree fahrenheit so here the answer is 65.5 65.5 degree celsius so in the hot gatta prasha used in heat test its temperature is more than 65.5 degree celsius the fourth question is electric pulp test option a requires more current for anterior teeth option b requires more current for posterior teeth option c same response option d better in inflamed teeth so here the answer is option b requires more current for posterior teeth electric pulp test requires more current for posterior teeth question number 5 false positive electric pulp test is due to all except option a anxiety option b liquefactive necrosis of pulp option c pain killer last night option d tooth wet by saliva and surrounding tissue so false positive so here the tooth is normal but result is false positive so the answer is pain killer last night anxiety liquefactive necrosis tooth wet by saliva and surrounding tissues are false positive but except the wrong one is pain killer last night question number 6 toothache relieved with cold water indicates option a acute pulpitis option b arterial hyperemia option c irreversible pulpitis option d venous hyperemia so toothache relieved with cold water indicates if we use cold beverages it would uh, relieve the toothache so the answer is option c irreversible pulpitis so irreversible pulpitis relieved with cold question number 7 false vitality result are common in posterior tooth or most commonly due to option a presence of vital pulp tissue uh, vital pulp tissue in one of the canals option b thickness of the enamel option c presence of pulp stones option d thickness of the dentin so here the answer is presence of vital pulp tissue is one of the canal because multi rooted teeth in which the pulp is partially necrotic with some nerve fibers still vital in one or more of the root canals so it indicates false positive response Question number 8 percussion is a dental diagnostic procedure used in determining whether option A the tooth is vital option B the pulp is hyperemic option C a periodontitis exists and D option D all of the above so when we do percussion mainly it's used for a periodontitis exists if periapical involvement 
the percussion is present so periodontitis is exist question number 9 the non invasive method to measure the blood flow is option a eptl that is electric pulp test option b percussion option c c radiograph option d laser doppler flowmetry non invasive method to measure the blood flow so here the answer is option d laser doppler flowmetry so it is a non invasive method of assessing and accurately measuring the rate of blood flow in the tissue question number 10 electric pulp test may not be performed on patients who have option a hip implant option b pacemaker option c dental implant option d prosthetic eye so here the answer is option b pacemaker so electric pulp test may not be performed on patients who have pacemaker we should know what type of uh, pacemaker is placed question number 11 the confirmatory test for pulp vi pulp vitality is option a thermal test option b test cavity option c analytical technology of uh, ept option d digital pulp videography so what is the confirmatory test of pulp vitality so the answer is test cavity it is performed when other methods of diagnosis have failed this method is used so it is the confirmatory test definitely we have to unanesthetize the tooth high speed and with a water coolant question number 12 which of the following is best suited to diagnose acute apical periodontitis option a percussion option b thermal test option c ept option d anesthetic test so acute apical periodontitis already we seen that uh, question similarly similar question so here the answer is percussion so in acute apical periodontitis we do percussion for diagnose this condition question number 13 pulse oximetry is used in option a blood volume option b blood coefficient option c laser wavelength of wavelength for estimation of blood flow option d probe with diode is used to measure oxygen saturation so here the answer is option d probe with diode is used to measure oxygen saturation so the pulse oximetry to measure the oxygen saturation level during administration of anesthesia or other medication so blood volume causes periodic change in the amount of red and infrared light absorbed by the vascular bed before reaching the photo detector so here the question number 14 laser doppler flowmetry is a method used to assess a blood flow in option a microvascular system option b micro lymphatics option c micro vesicles option d micro spaces so here the answer is option a microvascular systems so laser doppler flowmetry is a method used to assess blood flow in microvascular systems question number 15 law of pulse oximetry is based on option a doppler's law option b pascal's law option c pauli's law option d beer's law so here the answer is option d beer's law the principle of pulse oximetry is based on beer and lambert law so which states that the concentration of an absorbing substance in solution can be determined from the intensity of light transmitted through that solution so in law, law of pulse oximetry is beer's law and lambert law so the beer's law the intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially as the concentration of the substance increases so in lambert's law the intensity of transmitted light decreases exponentially as the distance traveled through the substance increases so in beer's law the intensity of the transmitted light decreases so the concentration of the substance increases so question number 16 tooth with acute pulpitis will give response to electric pulp tester option a high reading then adjacent tooth only option b high reading then adjacent and contralateral tooth 
ஆப்ஷன் சி லோவர் ரீடிங் தென் அட்ஜஸ்டன் டீத் ஆப்ஷன் டி ஹையர் ரீடிங் தென் ஆப்போசிட் டூத்து ஸோ ஹியர் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆப்ஷன் சி லோவர் ரீடிங் தென் அட்ஜஸ்டன் டீத்து இன் ஹைப்பரிமியா அண்ட் ரிவர்சபிள் பல்பேட்டர்ஸ் லோ ரீடிங் தென் கண்ட்ரோல் டீத் In acute palpitus and irreversible palpitus, low reading then control teeth because of very low threshold of irritability and occasionally normal response. In chronic palpitus, that is high reading. Necrotic, that is negative response and false positive if liquefaction necrosis is occurs. So, in electric pulp tester, acute palpitus give lower reading than the adjacent teeth. So, acute palpitis and irreversible palpitis, low reading. And uh, irrever- uh, reversible palpitis and hyperemia give lower re- low reading than the control teeth. And chronic palpitis, that is, that is high reading and necrotic negative response.